Hello and welcome to this first event of the Marble Olympics, Balancing. This is a little bit different than what you might imagine. It is a team sport where four marbles are going to be rolling down a chute with no sides to it, and it's collectively whoever has the most distance between all four marbles combined gets the gold. So we start off here in a really good run for Mellow Yellow. That is a 312 for them. That's a pretty good number just by the looks of it, just eyeballing it, if you will. All right, next up here, you see a good spread, and uh, ooh, keeping going. We may have a finisher, and we will. It's Cerulean picking up 150 points. That goes to 268 and puts them in second place. Solid job. All right, now another good run. Not too bad, 307. That is a, that's a very solid finish. I would have to think that that is uh, going to be up there. That's just five behind what we saw for Mellow Yellow. 206, that is on the other end. That is a little bit paltry on their part. Okay, you see these marbles starting off in a bunch of three separating from the back and just 226 in that grouping. Team primary up now. Out of the starting block they go. Down the chute and then out onto the balance beam. Not too good a distance on that one. 208. That's one of the shortest ones that we've had. That is the shortest one in fact of these marble runs so far. Good team run for these two. Not bad at all. 298 just coming short of that 300 mark. I would have to think that the 300 is about the cutoff thereabouts for what the podium will be. 261 is not going to do it. So there you see the standings after those first few groupings of marbles. 312 leading the way by Team Mellow Yellow in front of Team Momo. We have 307 now in the final few. And a good start for a couple of those. A couple dropped off pretty quick. Look at the spectators back behind there enjoying this early competition in these Marble Olympics. The Chocolatiers down the chute now, separating into three. Two of them drop off left, two of them drop off right, and manage just 210. That's not going to do it. Snowballs. Coming down a good center starting position as they came out of the chute, ending with 254. They had a 95 in there. That is not too bad. I'd have to think for a lot of these marbles also, it's a matter of not necessarily challenging for the podium, but at least showing what they can do. And in that case, a 297 is a pretty good show to put on. Some of these, you know, at this level, all of the marbles are going to be pretty darn good. And when they reach this level, the tolerances are just so fine, the margins. And uh, that's why I think if you can beat that 300 mark, you're going to be in good shape. And thus far, only a couple have done that. Several have come close. 217, that is not close. Rojo Rollers now in the starting blocks. And they're off. A little bit of separation between them. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. We're going to have another finisher. Not too bad. Rojo 2 comes in, and that is a new Marble Olympics record. 347. That is miles ahead of Mellow Yellow with 312 with just one or two runners left to go. Can they check? No, that's not even going to be close. 233. That'll do it. That seals the gold for Rojo Rollers. 347 ahead of Team Mellow Yellow with 312 and Team Momo with 307. So that 300 was the cutoff. 10 points to gold, 7 to silver, and 5 to bronze. And it's going to be Rojo Rollers coming in with the gold, enjoying their spot on the podium. Congratulations, everyone, in this first event of the Marble Olympics in balancing. Well done, everyone. Welcome now to the second event of this 2016 Marble Olympics. It's a relay race. Four teams of four marbles each going down this course. They will trigger blocks, and the next runner will be on its way. There you see race number one, Rojo Rollers, the ones who won the first event, Jawbreakers, Oceanics, and the Chocolatiers. Already off to the second leg of this relay race. 
And it's uh, Jawbreakers leading the way down in track number two. Snaking their way narrowly out in front. Back there in uh, lane number four, that's Chocolatiers. Trying to make up some ground, and they will. Let's see how this final leg of the relay goes. Coming down here to the finish line. And there you go, it's track number two. Jawbreakers winning over Chocolatiers, Oceanics, and Rojo Rollers. The winners of that first uh, Marble Olympics event balancing Rojo Rollers coming in just fourth in that heat. Now off in this one, it's Cobalts, Galactics, Momo, and Snowballs leading the way. Uh, now remember, these blocks have to stay on when they hit those. If any of them come off, as we saw in that splash screen at the beginning, then they will be disqualified. But everybody pretty clean so far, and it's lane number two. Galactic still leading the way. But now, look at lane number four. Coming up hard, Snowballs down in the bottom of your screen. They're going to cross the line first. Solid job, and it's going to be Galactics coming in in second in front of Momo and Cobalts. As we move on to heat number three, Orangers, Thunderbolts, Balls of Chaos, and Limers. Balls of Chaos getting an early lead down there on track number three. They're going to keep that through the uh, first relay, but then immediately it's going to be Limers leading out on the bottom lane. Oh, and we've had a block and a marble come off. That is going to be a disqualification. Uh, so as a result, you see several marbles running down there, and I think it gets rectified down here by this final pass. But let's see what timing and scoring and the stewards decide. Based on that, and it's Balls of Chaos. They are disqualified. They pushed the block right off the track. Now, the final of four heats. Pinkies, Savage Speeders, Mellow Yellow, and Team Primary leading the way, and it's Mellow Yellow ahead of the first relay point, and the handoff immediately goes to Savage Speeders. They're in the lead now, twisting through that circular bit. Now on to the next relay. Savage Speeders still leading out in front, down in lane number two. And they looks like we'll get a pretty clear shot at this victory. I don't think anybody's going to challenge them. Mellow Yellow coming in in second down there on lane number three. Or did they? Ooh, they may not have. Timing and scoring, I believe, will give that to Pinkies. And they do by just a hundredth of a second. That is very, very fine. All right, we've had the four heats. Now to the consolation rates. It's Galactics, Limers, Pinkies, and Chocolatiers. Galactic, Team Galactic leading the way on the first leg. Very slow getaway on the second, though. It's Pinkies. Coming out in front on the second leg as they transition into the third. Can they keep that up? No, a Chocolatiers take the lead at the bottom. In lane number four, it's Chocolatiers leading Pinkies down there from lanes four and three. Final leg now, the anchor. Chocolatiers are going to come across and pick up fifth place in this Marble Olympics event. Good job by Chocolatiers, Limers, Pinkies, and Team Galaxy. And now for all of the marbles, if you will. It's Snowballs, Jawbreakers, Thunderbolts, and Savage Speeders. And it's Jawbreakers leading the way. Now onto the second leg, that has changed drastically. Thunderbolts now a narrow margin over Savage Speeders. We'll see how they do on this third leg. Now fighting back is Jawbreakers up on lane two, but it's still Thunderbolts with a very narrow lead. Now Savage Speeders takes that turn really well, easily gets off into the anchor leg, and it's going to be Savage Speeders picking up the win here in this event of the Marble Olympics. The relay race, Savage Speeders winning on that one, and actually Snowballs looks like they do not finish. So there you see the standings as they run through two events of these Marble Olympics. Savage Speeders leading Rojo Rollers and Mellow Yellow on the podium. Jawbreakers and Pinkies just off as we take a look. Congratulations, everyone. Well done in this event, and we will see you for the next edition of the Marble Olympics. Welcome to the third event in these Marble Olympics Collision. We have teams of four marbles that are going to be streaming down ramps head-on at each other, and the total number of marbles that go off for your side get added as points to the other side. So it is to your advantage to stay on. We have the first collision and so many went off there. Oh, and even one late at the end. A good slow-mo here. Rocketing in. Now, this is the first time that this event has been done here at the Marble Olympics. These side pieces are meant to be knocked down to allow more marbles to fall out. And there you can see three Mellow Yellows went out, so that goes three points to Thunderbolts versus two for Mellow Yellow. Head-on collision here. Just one block knocked over. We'll see if any other marbles. Yes, they do. So that will be a pretty even draw after that heat in that one. Just two marbles out out of the eight in total. Pretty even stagger here. Oh, the one blue one hanging back a little bit. Actually, that ended up saving him. I'm not sure what the strategy is for that, but the Limers and Oceanics are going to be tied at one apiece. Mellow Yellow now versus the Oceanics. Good hard impacts. Ooh, and it's actually the Oceanics that take out several of them. Oh, and Mellow Yellow at the end drops a couple as well. Take a look at this. A solid impact. Actually, Mellow Yellow on itself allowed that marble on the left-hand side of your screen just to hang there, but it's at the end 
that we had another Mellow Yellow come across and dive out. All right, Limers and Thunderbolts this time. Ooh, and a couple of Limers took a direct route at the outside, and uh, they will come out on the short end of this. Two marbles of theirs came out versus just one. We have a nice soft focus here. Just makes it that much more beautiful, doesn't it? Controlled chaos to a degree. But in this case, there are bragging rights up for grabs. And some medals, I might add, too. Thunderbolts coming out on that one. Two to one. Mellow Yellow and Limers. Actually, several marbles just went right beside each other. And Mellow Yellow is going to come out the victor in this one. And if you watch this, a couple of them, look at the gap up there on the top part of your screen. Two Mellow Yellows just screamed right through them. Bad strategy on behalf of the Limers. They come out blanked on that one. Three, nothing. Oceanics and Thunderbolts now. The Battle of the Blue Marbles. And I believe we're just going to have the one, well, will any of these trickle out? Oh, yes, they will. Ah, just the, the angle and the direction that inertia is going to take you. Look at that solid impact just blew right through the wall. Thunderbolts lose two on that one. So there you see the standings of Group 1. Thunderbolts and Mellow Yellow in the lead. We now go to Group 2. Pinkies and Snowballs. White Marbles crashing into each other. And I have no idea how on earth to call that one after that chaos. <laughs> there are quite a few marbles off the course. Uh, okay, there you go. That's a much better view. So you can see Pinkies keeping everybody on there when Snowballs has already lost one. But uh, eventually it catches up with them. And they end up tied. Balls of Chaos and Team Momo. Screaming down here. And Momo loses one off to the near side and one off to the far side. Oh, and just at the end, another one trickles off. So Chaos is going to come out the victors on this one. Look at that immediately. Momo loses one to the top side. Now down here to the bottom side as well. And at the very end, had another one trickle off and lose three to nothing. Three is the highest score that we've seen so far. But look at this. Oh, my gosh. Most of the marbles are completely gone here. We do have a blank. So all four, I believe, for pinkies have gone off. So uh, watch there at the top of your screen. There's three of them. You see the one tumbling off at the bottom. All they had to do, Momo, was just try to keep them on, and they couldn't. So they do gain one point. Four to three, but uh, still. That is the first blank that we've seen. And uh, this may actually be a blank of another sort. We are not going to lose any marbles in this one. So a clean sheet, zero to zero. No points being gained, no points being lost. And actually, given the group rankings, that's not what you want. You want some points somewhere. Momo and Snowballs colliding head on. Momo loses one. Snowball loses one. Will anybody else trickle off? Watching a couple of them down there. Momo's going to lose two. Oh, look at that subtle shove at the end from that remaining green team Momo up there. Just pushed one of the Snowballs off on the low side. It looked like all of the marbles were going to be leaning in that direction, but it was that final little shove that ended up making the difference, and that evened things up two to two. All right, pinkies and balls of chaos. Good solid hit for all four of them. Oh, and it's going to be look at that pinkies losing three versus just one of the balls of chaos. Watch this. There goes the one chaos up at the top. Pinkies loses one, and then going to follow right through that opening as another, and then another after that. So... There you go. There are the scores there. Balls of Chaos and Team Momo in the green, so they will be moving on. Orangers and Savage Speeders. A good solid spread on that one. Ooh, and a little nudge. Nope, they're going to lose it. Orangers is going to lose another one on the bottom side. Good solid impacts there, too. I'm not sure what the strategy is for a lot of these teams, trying to figure out where they want to uh, roll, how they want to stagger, if they just want to all hit head on. Uh, I don't know. Look, look at the one in the middle there. That actually, uh, Jump Breakers stayed on. Oh, nearly the teammates took both of each other out on the bottom side. But it'll be three staying on for Jump Breakers. Look at that hard hit. Just skyrocketed off to the side there. Good strategy. Whatever it was. I, and, and maybe there isn't any. Maybe they just decided, let's just go uh, completely as hard as we can down these ramps. Here's Rojo Rollers. The winners of the first event did fairly well uh, in the second but not this time. They are actually going to get completely blanked. All four of them. Watch this. Three of them are on this low side. Now the fourth one decides to come over here. When you've got blocks that are already starting to fall, that is not good to have all of your marbles on the same side, and they pay the price. They managed to get two of the Orangers off, so they only lose two points overall, but still, having a blank on that one is not good. And will we see that again this time? We're watching that 
final rolling marble. And I believe you'll have a net gain of one at the end of this. Yes, as he comes settling onto the far side. So that is... Uh, they had a, a two by two as they came down those ramps. Immediately losing one of each marble off to the side, but then Jawbreakers, a couple more trickle over. Jawbreakers and Orangers now. A little bump, a couple of Orangers went all the way through, and look at him channeling over to that opening. Ooh, Orangers is going to keep that one over there. All right, so that will be a clean, uh, an even round, if you will. One Jawbreaker immediately spearing off, and an Orange following right behind him. And then a little bit farther on in the roll. We had a jawbreaker again fall by another orange. I thought that one in the middle of the screen might end up trickling over, but uh, not the case. Managed to hold his ground, just nestled up against those barriers. Savage speeders and the Rojo Rollers. Two blocks knocked out on the near side. And that's going to create a huge gap. Oh, and a couple of others roll off the side. And everybody finally comes to a stop. Look at this. Immediately veering off to the right and taking out two blocks with one marble. And there you see... The results of group three, Jawbreakers and Orangers, two to one. All right, group four, match one, Team Galactic and Primary. First time we've seen these marbles so far. They actually bounced off the sides and missed most of each other before just glancing, and it's those glances that really send you off course. And as a result, only three marbles left standing on this clear course. One of each off to the side, two of each off to the side, and then this last Galactic... Oh, just ended up making the difference. It was going to be an even draw. Not so on this one. Oh, look at that gap there. Three managed to stay on, so that's going to be a three-to-one result. And look at the two off to the far side, just missing everybody completely. That actually doomed one of them, rolling off to the side. Eventually trickling down this way, but Cobalt's coming away with a good victory on that one. Now Cobalt's in primary this time. Cobalt loses one. Primary managed to keep everybody on so far. Will it stay that way? They're flirting with that opening. And it will. Primary manages to keep all four marbles on the course. And that is the easiest way to gain points on all of your opponents. But unfortunately, three of the Cobalts remain. So just one is the pickup. Chocolatiers and Galactic now. Good spread by Chocolatiers. Managed to make it all the way through to the other side. Will they stay that way? Again, there's that opening, and most of them are working their way down there. No, Chocolatiers are going to keep all four on course right now. Look, this couple of them just went straight on through. Team Galactic losing one to each side. That's two to nothing. Chocolatiers in primary now. Down they go. And look at this. We're actually going to have only one finisher remaining, but will he trickle off to the side? He will. That is four to four, so no ground gain, basically. That was just that was as solid a collision as, as about you could have. And eventually rolling its way off to the side here. You're going to see the other marble if we stick on long enough out to the left. Nope. But either way, four to four. Galactic and Cobalts. Immediately Galactic pushes all three of the Cobalts off to the side. The one, remaining one was pushed off as well, but manages to keep that block upright. It's at the upper left part of your screen. I think he might have gotten a little help yeah, from Team Galactic. That scrubbed off a little bit of energy. Managed to keep that block upright. As it is, though. Ooh, look at that. Barely hanging on there. So, Galactic and Primary, you saw there was a tie down there. So, Chocolatiers, the tie break match against Primary. Good, solid, straightforward impact. Just losing one to each side. But will anybody trickle out through that opening? Chocolatiers flirting with it? No. So, uh, we're tied again. All right, three to three. Down they go. Ooh, and they miss a couple of them. They leave the open blocks open. Ooh, nearly lost. Well, oh, that Chocolatier's going, yeah, for sure. All right, there you go. That last marble proved to be the difference. Chocolatier's immediately losing one. Look up there at the top. Down that one goes. In the second tiebreaker, it's just at the end here. By leaving those knocked over blocks already off, we thought we were going to have a tie again, because I figured both of these marbles would go, but look at on the right there, just backtracks enough. Chocolatiers dipping one off to the side. So there you can see the bracket as we move from the pool round into the quarterfinals. Thunderbolts, Orangers, Balls of Chaos, and Team Primary up in that upper bracket, and that is where we will start. Thunderbolts and Orangers. Thunderbolts immediately getting splayed off to the sides, but Orangers follow right along, and that will be two to two. So we do it again. Oh, and it is going to be Orangers 
dropping off all of them in the end. That first one actually fared pretty well for them. But it was toward the end when they started to roll off to the sides. That's when it made a difference. So they did the rematch. As the rules dictate, once you get to the quarterfinals, you leave the blocks off and then re-roll the remaining marbles. Just glancing off. They weren't head on by any means, but the energy of the oranges just took them off and dropped over there. And that was the main marble right there. Oranges, boom, losing out four to three on Thunderbolts. Balls of Chaos now in Team Primary. Similar colors. And they knock them off to either side. But I think it's going to be, well, let's see here. Ooh, I thought they might have gotten a clean sweep of all four, but uh, one manages to stay on. Two immediately on each side, diving off, then one, then one on the near side. Jawbreakers and Mellow Yellow. Solid Collision send three of the Mellow Yellows directly back, but only one marble goes out at that top marble that you see just on the center part of your screen. Look at the three Jawbreakers coming down to this side. So only one, only one marble goes off. Galactic and Momo now. Left versus right, respectively. Oh, and that gap at the bottom proves to be the undoing for Team Galactic. Three marbles remain. There you can see the impacts actually stopping the one in the center, pretty much stationary. And that little glance off the wall in the upper right manages to scrub off just enough energy that it stops him from knocking down that block, keeping him on the course, and stopping Galactics from picking up any more points from what would have been a draw otherwise. All right, now the bronze final and the final. Jawbreakers and Momo is going to be fighting uh, to figure out who goes to the bronze. Thunderbolts and Team Primary in the semifinals. Loser still has a chance at a medal. Winner goes to the finals. And that looks like it's going to be a 3-2 victory, immediately losing a couple up on top. Yeah, take a look at this. Ooh, that one actually got airborne, barely even touched the course before knocking over that block. Now down here on the near side, that pair decided to go over together. Actually created a little bit of chaos, but it's going to be Thunderbolts moving on to the team final. Jawbreakers and Momo. Jawbreakers spear through them. It looks like, depending on if they can stay clean, they're going to lose another one. Oh, goodness. Still, they will pick up a point, I believe. Two of their own marbles remaining. Jawbreakers. Only a couple of them managing to go straight. But look at this. Immediately losing through the same gap on this near side. Team Momo drops two of them just at the bottom of your screen, so it's Jawbreakers moving on to the final. Team Primary and Team Momo are going to be fighting for the bronze in the consolation match. Momo's been up there a couple of times in these Marble Olympics. Primary and Momo hitting each other. Oh, and nearly cleaning the board on the initial impact. Are we going to see another one drop off? Ooh, no, we will not. Primary and Momo. There you go, that is the bronze primary, that, that last one flirting with the edge on out the final match. Jawbreakers and Thunderbolts clears everybody off but one. Thunderbolts are gonna win the gold. Look at the chaos created here. Three of the Thunderbolts coming off to the near side right off the bat. And there drops another one, all four. What a way to win the gold. Knocking off all four of your opponents. Congratulations to Thunderbolts. Jawbreakers coming in silver and team primary. Picking up the five points and the bronze medal. Team Momo as well. Now, we want to mention that little thing at the bottom there after some structural issues with the last race. Some extra points and an extra bronze medal have been given to Team Snowballs because of the difficulties that they had in that final race in the relay. So those points have been adjusted, and there you saw the final standings. Congrats to everybody who made the podium. Event 4 of the Marble Olympics takes us back to our roots, to a sand marble rally, one representative from each of the eight teams. And off they go. Immediately, Team Galactic rocketing up into front, but look at Team Momo charging up right behind him. Orangers and Mellow Yellow trading spots a little bit farther back off that start, but now bunched up together. We take a look back up here at the front. This is actually a very fast race course, much faster than some of the ones that we've seen in the past. Look at Orangers screaming up into third place. They want a shot at moving on here, but right behind him, Ooh, we just go off screen there and taking a look back up front. It's Team Galactic still leading the way, but being tracked down. It's a two-horse race at this point. We'll see if anybody can manage to make up a little bit of ground on them. So we take a look just off to the side there. That looked like a mellow yellow marble now up into fourth place. A good job by them. I know Orangers had sent somebody up there a little bit ago. We'll see how much they can keep track. 
but we take a look back here at the leaders as we come down toward the bottom of this course a long straightaway it looks like to end this race before a little curve and across the line they go and look at this it even funnels them in like that oh orange is not a good finish for the limers there and it's team galactic leading the way over mellow yellow which stole it at the end from balls of chaos now thunderbolts cobalts rojo rollers snowballs pinkies savage speeders jawbreakers down they come off they go Rojo Roller is leading the way. Pinkies and Snowballs trading spots back there. Oh, and a good jump by Snowballs to get up into second place, and they're trying to track down the leader right now. Pinkies losing touch with that second place and coming under a little bit of pressure back behind him. Uh, looks like Thunderbolts, Pinkies are back there, but it's Snowballs losing now a little bit of ground up front as well to Rojo Rollers. Seeing if they can navigate through some of this stuff, and a good juke back and forth, and they take the lead. Snowballers snaking their way down this course here past the 30-second mark. Down they come, back to the right, back to the left. Now curving back before a sharper bend. Remember, this is a long straightaway at the end, so they can catch up a lot of ground here, but so far we only see two marbles in this screen. Bouncing off the walls, trying to stay as clean as possible. That's where you can lose this race, narrowly closing that gap down to a couple lengths. Now at accordions back out. This last little turn, and it will be an easy victory. All right, coming in back behind him. Oh, a good run from Thunderbolts by the look of it. Rojo Rollers cannot do it. They finish in second. Jawbreakers, primary, Savage Speeders back behind. Now, we go to the final race. Jawbreakers, Thunderbolts, Snowballs, Rojo Rollers back there. And it's Rojo Rollers taking an early lead. Mellow Yellow back there in third, struggling a little bit. Now jumping up into second as I say that. Snowballs and Team Pinky now Galactic back behind them. Thunderbolts a little bit farther back behind than Momo. We come back through these sections. And it's actually a pretty close race, the closest that we've seen out of any of these Sand Marble rallies. And look at Mellow Yellow jumping up into second place. That would be a good points haul for them. They need it. They really need it. They had started very well in these Marble Olympics, but they're trying to keep touch and failing just slightly. Look at this, just one marble in the screen. We'll see if they can gain a little bit of ground here as we pass the halfway point of this course. There they are, gaining quite a bit of ground, and they're going to, try to go to the inside and out of the outside. Neck and neck, they take a look into that hard chicane. Now bounding off the walls, we're coming down here into the straightaway. We'll see if they can gain, and they are. They certainly are. Mellow Yellow into the lead with one turn to go through the little left-right, and now they will win the race. Mellow Yellow, a late race lunge, and ooh, actually a third place lunge as well. But it's not going to be enough. Team Galactic picking up third in front of Jawbreakers and Team Momo, even though that's not how they ended up in the final blocks. Timing and scoring is deemed that to be the case. So Mellow Yellow, 18 points. Well done in the standing Rojo Rollers. And there you see the podium finishers. Congratulations to everyone. Really well done in this fourth event of the Marble Olympics. After a much-deserved weekend break, the Marbles are back, this time in the long jump, one by one. A uh, member of each team will run down this ramp and launch themselves, as Aqua does right there, into a tub of small little marbles. As we take a look then at the measurement from the side view, you can see that little marker for the Olympic record at this point. Aqua breaking the 70 mark. Now Jalime from the Limers. Pretty good launch on that one. That looked to be somewhere in the 80s. Let's take a look here. Ooh, actually just short of 90, 89.6. Now you may notice there are no footfalls in this one because, well, frankly, these marbles do not have feet. But as it is, they come off of this ramp. Several of them you'll see veer just slightly right or left. And let's see where this one goes. That is actually, that is, that's a new record. 97.3 from Mo for Team Momo. And boy, they would love a good finish. Currently sitting in sixth in the standings right now for the Marble Olympics. With just one bronze medal to their name. Look at how hard it came down in that pinky toe landing at 85.7. Next one, Savage Speeders Speed. His team sitting in fifth in the standings. They did win one event. They have 13 points behind a three-way tie with 18 up at the top of the standings. Ooh, and that is going to be just on the 90 mark. 90.4 for speed. Now Bolta from the Thunderbolts, the team that is just outside of that tie for the top three. And that was a very good launch. That is going to be very near to that record mark, I would have to think. And boy, they would love a good finish here. Where does that come down? Ooh, just short there. No, it is. No, that is a new record. 97.6. Fantastic jump. And Team Thunderbolts would love to get a medal here and elevate them in the standings. That one looked like it may be somewhere in the 80 range. Did you see how hard... They hit here, watching from the side. 
Ooh, and that will break 90. I think that's going to be one of the keys to getting up at the top of the podium, or at least standing very close to it. If you can break that 90 mark. Now Candy from the Jawbreakers, a team that is one of those tied for the top spot. Two silver medals to their credit. They have 18 points overall, tied with Rojo Rollers and Mellow Yellow. And that one just going to come down right around the 80 mark. 80.5 is all. And that's not going to do it. So we take a quick look at the current standings about midway through the field. Thunderbolts leading the way just four tenths of a centimeter above Team Momo and Team Galactic. They are a little bit farther back. Galactic, by the way, in seventh place overall in the standings right now. Mellow Yellow's Yella. And that is not going to do it. Oh, my goodness. That was a very short one. And Mellow Yellow, as I said, one of those teams that is tied atop the standings. One gold and one silver. And they're not going to do it this time. In the 70s, 71.8 is all they could manage. That's a little bit surprising. Generally, they've been pretty strong throughout these Olympics. All right, Prim now. Coming down just slightly right center. Will end up breaking the 80 mark, but landing about 85.2. Now Cove from the Chocolatiers. Ugh, that's pretty short. Chocolatiers really needed a good finish, sitting down in 12th spot with just three points. All of those are from finishers who did not make it onto the podium, but still got enough to get points. Now from Balls of Chaos. We're sitting down in 16th. They are pointless, scoreless so far in these Marble Olympics. Will break 90, a really good, solid job. As we're getting down here toward the end of the order, 91.8 right there. And these are the runs that count. Now Royal from the Cobalts, sitting in 13th in the standings coming into this. Not a bad jump, pretty square overall, and that will also break 90. But I'm not sure it'll be enough. 92.3, it's a little bit farther back. Now Snow from the Snowballs. The Snowballs are a top eight team right now with seven points from one bronze finish and a couple of other good solid finishes as well. But that is not going to do it. Just short of 78 centimeters. Kino now from the Orangers. Whoa, that was a good one. So much air, just slightly left center. And that could be huge. It is a new record for the Marble Olympics, 103.8. And Orangers, oh my gosh, late in this race. Can, can Rojo Dos upset them? No, absolutely not. Now, the Orangers are 11th in the standings right now. No medals to their credit, just four points. But that is huge. That is going to elevate them, certainly, in the standings. And that's it. Rojo Dos was the last one, and there you can see it. Orangers winning the gold with a 103.8 in front of Thunderbolts, and Team Momo just misses out on silver by four tenths of a centimeter. That gives Thunderbolts the outright lead in the championship standing so far in front of Rojo Rollers and Mellow Yellow. Look at Orangers jumping up to seventh with that win. One gold medal. Congratulations to the Orangers, the gold medalists in the long jump. The first aquatic event of these Marble Olympics sees one competitor from each of eight teams spread across two heats, so the other eight teams will be in the other heat, trying to advance to the medal round. Strong currents, a lot of debris in this stream is going to make it very difficult, and you add in the fact that there are going to be two waterfalls over which they must traverse, and we'll see who comes out on top. So far, Team Thunderbolts is trying to hold off into second place. A little nudge there, and they lose it. Now fighting back, now they regain it. I think that's maybe Balls of Chaos up front. It's going to be a very difficult race for spectators to try to see who exactly is in the lead. With as winding as this course is, and you see the vegetation also, here's the first waterfall. A hard hit to the side there. Oh, but a couple of marbles, two marbles, three marbles come off to the side there. There's enough water flowing over that they might be able to be washed back into the main stream, but we'll have to see as they go through this, this chute. Now onto the second waterfall. I believe, okay, that's letting us know that the marbles are coming over it. Ooh, and there was a, ooh, a hard bounce off to our right, and I believe somebody is way off course. They are not going to finish. Now we take a look back up front. Is that still Balls of Chaos? It might be. Team Galactic might have moved into second place, now getting hung up just on the left side of the screen, trying to hold off Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts, of course, the leaders in this championship and winners of the collision, and across the line they come. And I believe it's top four are going to be moving on to the medal round. Oop, there's the last marble. Chocolatier. So Snowy was the one that careened off there, and apparently Rojo Quattro from the Rojo Rollers had blocked somebody on the last waterfall. Interesting. All right. Oceanics, Cobalts, Limers, Pinkies, several more are all in this round, along with the Orangers. Oops, somebody just got caught up back there on the left-hand side of the course. 
Not sure if they'll be able to get going again. But I think it might be Limers out in front, battling pretty hard with Cobalts. Also, the Oceanics are up there in the top five. The field getting strung out just a little bit, but everybody's still keeping good tracks on everybody else. Limers losing out now. That might be uh, Oceanics up front now, dropping back again. We come up here, I believe, toward the first waterfall. Here we go. We lost a competitor on the last one. And it looks like most of those marbles managed to get through. There were a couple that were a little bit off-center, but we'll have to see. I see four marbles, five marbles, six, seven. Okay, so we did lose one earlier. Now the second waterfall coming out of the vegetated chute. Somebody else goes off to our right. And they're going to be stranded over there to the side, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to be able to get going again. That is the end of the race. Now coming down here toward the final part to decide the final four to get into the medal round. And it's going to be really close between these top three marbles battling up front. It might be the Cobalts out in front. Seeing if they can move on to the medal round for a chance at getting a gold, silver, or bronze. And that is a tight battle back there for third and fourth. All of them will move on. Just two hundredths of a second separating Mandarin for the Orangers from that fourth place spot. Now, the gold medal final. The Orangers in there. Cobalts. Also, Balls of Chaos now running in second place. Team Galactic also in there. The field, these are the ones who moved on from those first couple of races. Savage Speeders is also in the mix. As we see everybody staying pretty close. Clean through this first part of the course. Oh, and as I say that, I think we lost one of the Orangers. Off to the left, just suddenly veered over. I don't know if that was a, a current that pushed him over there, or maybe if he got a little help from one of the competitors, too. I don't know, but the, the somewhat rabid Orangers fans are not going to be thrilled about that. Hard over the waterfall. A couple of them go off to the side there. I think one of them might have gotten stuck, but we'll have to see. Savage Speeders trying to battle up there in the lead. Now they fall back a little bit, going through the chute. We lose sight of them until they pour out over this waterfall. Here they come. So far, everybody looks pretty clean. I don't know if we're going to lose any of them on that section. That might be the first time through that waterfall that we don't lose a competitor. Now the leader just disappearing off on the right-hand side of your screen. That might be Cobalt's running in second place. But I don't think anybody is going to catch. Was that Savage Speeders up front? I think it was. I think Savage Speeders are going to claim the gold medal here. That is going to be huge for them, and there's the end of the course. That's it, Savage Speeders, your gold medal winner in front of the Cobalts and Mellow Yellow. And Savage Speeders sitting in sixth right now pick up their second gold medal of these Marble Olympics. Their first since the second round in the relay, but Thunderbolts hold on to their lead overall in front of Savage Speeders and Mellow Yellow. Be sure to stay tuned to this channel for more Marble Olympics. We now move on to the high jump. This event of the Marble Olympics has a record of 57 centimeters to it, and we'll see if these marbles can top that here today. This very first attempt, not even close. Obviously, just like in the regular high jump, the goal is to get over the bar without knocking it down. And as you can see here for Team Rangers, caught it just on the way down and not able to do it. Nightmare from Team Primary got through it. 50 centimeters, not a problem very easy actually going off of the camera view now pinky toe from the pinkies also is going to clear 50 centimeters a good response from the crowd back behind not even close you'd, you'd wonder if they maybe uh, uh just try to barely pass over the bar at this point since there are going to be heats later on as the bar continues to get higher but no a lot of these marbles absolutely going for it. you saw another pass there now bolta from the thund thunderbolts they are going to do it bolta easily gets by Woo! just a little bit close Closer than some of the other ones. Now from the Chocolatiers. Ooh, not good. Not good at all. That one actually hit square on the side of the bar. Chocolatiers right now are sitting back in 13th, so they could use a good finish in one of these events. At this point, no medals, but just three points overall. Thunderbolts and Savage Speeders, by the way, are the ones leading the way. Team Momo is also up there. You just saw past that one, not by much. But they are through. Momo sitting back in sixth. Two bronze medals to their credit, including two events ago in the long jump. So we'll see if jumping suits Team Momo pretty well. Now from the Rojo Rollers, also at 50 centimeters, up and over. The Rojo Rollers fourth right now in these Marble Olympics. One gold and a silver. Limers see Sublime, one of their members, go right over it. Look at the spin as he clears that bar. Now C from the Oceanics, a team that was expected to do pretty well in the marble race. Uh, the, the last one down the water 
uh, course, but unfortunately couldn't bring it together. And uh, that attempt was also as successful as that water race for him. On the flip side, though, look at this. Look at the clearance there. A much steeper climb, peeking out just over the bar and immediately dropping on the side of it. Some of them have an arch to them, and Yelly from Mellow Yellow is not going to do it. Bumps the bar right off. Now Cerulean from the Cobalts. Another fail as well. It's really uh, separating the field, you can see there, from 10th on down, all failures to get over that 50 centimeter mark. Team Primary and Galactic leading the way in front of Jawbreakers, Balls of Chaos, Rojo Rollers, Pinkies, Team Momo. And now we move the bar up to 51. Mouthful from the Jawbreakers, can't do it. Take a look at the slow-mo there. That was uh, never going to be destined to it, even if he got the launch angle correct. Not going to make it. Now Pinky Toe again from the Pinkies. Good. 51 centimeters. Check that one off for Pinkies. Easily, I would guess, with another centimeter or so to spare. Team Primary notching it. Another pass at the 51 centimeter mark. Mm -hmm. Team Primary could also use a pretty good finish. They do have one bronze medal to their credit but sit in 10th in the overall standings. Sublime from the Limers, up and over. As we said, Limers back in 14th, trying to challenge some of these leaders as we get later on into these Marble Olympics. Rojo Dose from the Rojo Rollers gets over, not by much. Ooh. I would say just by the skin of his teeth, but I'm not sure anatomically how that gels with him. Bolta from the Thunderbolts, can't do it. That one a nudge actually on the underside of the bar. So Thunderbolts do not move on. Currently the championship leaders, by the way, with one medal of each color to their credit and 27 points overall in these Marble Olympics. Look at the clearance there. Not even close. A very easy pass. Thunderbolts three points ahead of Savage Speeders. Now Galactic notched them down for a pass. Ooh, that might have just made the bar quiver ever so slightly. Chaotica from Balls of Chaos up and over. You can feel the tension starting to build a little bit now. Now from 8th on down, 8th and ninth, we had two competitors out of the nine fail to get over the bar. Team Momo easily clearing it, so we move the bar up again. Now 52 centimeters. Pinky Toe does not get it. The Pinkies are going to be out of this one. Sitting back in 12th in the standings. Boy, they would have loved a good finish here today. Now Chaotic and Balls of Chaos. Easily made it last time, not so much this time. Had enough height, just mistimed it ever so slightly and caught it on the way down. Team Primary, whoo, flies over the bar, not even a glance. Look at that. Easily another centimeter, I would guess. On the 52 mark. Sublime from the Limers trying to keep his streak alive. And no. Didn't make it over and actually didn't even touch the bar. Watch this. Woo, just barely below it. So that's going to be no good. Momo, Momo. Says, add some more height because I can do it. Easy. Notch that one up for a pass. Moving on to the next round. Starry from Team Galactic catches the bar on the downswing. Also had enough height to do it. It's just a matter of when these marbles, I think, choose to launch, you've got to get the angle of attack right. If it's too steep or too shallow, you have kind of a, a set velocity. So there you see it. Three competitors moving on, and they will be our three medalists. Rojo Rollers, Team Momo, and Team Primary. Rojo Rollers, the highest ranked out of all of those in the Marble Olympics so far, and over at 53 centimeters. Immediately laying down the gauntlet, saying, I dare you, challenge me. I've got more height in the bag if you want it. Now, Imer from Team Primary, also over at 53, so we will go on to another round for sure. Regardless of how the final marble does, we will have another step. Now from Team Momo at 53, no, not going to do it. So Team Momo is going to come in as our bronze medalists here today. A good finish for them. That adds to their bronze medal totals. That is the only medals that they've won so far. Now we go to 54 centimeters and Team Primary is over. No weight at all. Just load them back up in the blocks and set them off. And that was a good, solid finish. Now Rojo Dos from the Rollers. Also over 54 centimeters. We will move it up again. 
Boy, this would be a good coup for Team Primary. Oh, and it's not to be at 55 centimeters. Primary sitting in 10th in the championship. Would have loved to get over here. Oh, and just a bad angle of launch. Hit the bottom of the bar on the upswing as well. Now Rojo Dos gets over. Rojo Dos wins the gold medal on that jump right there. 55 centimeters and had probably another half a centimeter in it. Could have cleared it. All right, he's going now for a new record attempt. No, not so much. It was worth a try. Why not? 58 centimeters and not to be on that one. So there you see it, Rojo Rollers picking up another gold medal. That's two to their credit so far in these Marble Olympics. Team Primary and Team Momo coming in silver and bronze. Galactic just off the podium. And there you see the updated standings. Now Rojo Rollers have overtaken Thunderbolts for the championship lead so far just by one point. Savage Speeders and Mellow Yellow in back of them. Team Momo sitting in fifth. Be sure to subscribe for more Marble Olympics as we congratulate those on the podium. Well done, the winners of the high jump. If the Sand Marble Rally and the Aquatic Event were tests of endurance, this is a test of speed, a 10-meter race. And we see Momo and several others in the starting blocks through a 10-meter sprint straight down the way. And there you have it moving on. It's Chocolatiers in that one. So quick, these races immediately jumping out over Limers, Oceanics, and Team Momo. Now coming up, Thunderbolts, Savage Speeders, Rojo Rollers, and Jawbreakers. Ooh, and it's really close there on those outer two lanes. Team lanes one and two are going to speed up ahead savagely, if you will, leading that race, Savage Speeders, Rapidity, and Bolta coming in in second, going to be moving on to the next round. As we look at the starting lineup for race three now, primaries, Pinkies, Galactics, and O'Rangers. And it's Galactics with an early lead now. O'Rangers coming out, and they're going to win this heat. And sneaking into second, Pinky Rosa from the Pinkies, just two tenths of a second behind. Galactic had gotten off to an early lead there out of lane three, but it was not to be. Cobalt's Balls of Chaos, Snowballs, and Mellow Yellow. And it's Cobalt's on the outside. Now Balls of Chaos, neck and neck. They're trying to win this heat, and they will. Balls of Chaos. All right, Chaotic and beating Snow. Winning that race now. Snowballs, Pinkies, Limers, and Thunderbolts. Pinkies with an early lead now falling back, and it's going to be Snowballs on the outside winning that heat. That is the consolation race, by the way, to decide fifth through eighth. And Snow from the Snowballs beating out Bolta, who's had a good finish so far. Now for the final race, O'Rangers, Balls of Chaos, Savage Speeders, and Chocolatiers. It's Savage Speeders down in lane three, getting out to an early lead. Chocolatiers trying, but can't do it. And it's Savage Speeders breaking the Marble Olympics record with rapidity 4.968 in this 10-meter dash in front of the Chocolatiers. Well done to them. Savage Speeders now in the overall championship pick up another gold and move up into 34 points. Four ahead of Thunderbolts. And Rojo Rollers, Mellow Yellow, and Team Momo remains back in fifth with three bronze medals. Congratulations to our 10-meter sprinters. We'll let them catch their breath. And remember to subscribe for more Marble Olympics on this event coming soon. Coming down the home stretch of the Marble Olympics, the teams come together for the team pursuit. Savage Speeders and Team Galactic going on this oval track a little bit removed from the velodrome. And it is a team event, as we said, so all four marbles have to stay in lockstep. If they get separated by too much, they risk a disqualification. It's Savage Speeders doing a pretty good lead for a little while, but now it's slowly starting to come back to Team Galactic. They have about a half a second lead now, and that is growing. Team Galactic, but they are separating a little bit as they come to the bottom of the course, and they will win Savage Speeders. Losing out in that first round, a team that won the last sprint event, the 10-meter sprint, and lead the overall standings right now with three gold medals to their credit. Oceanics and Team Primary, Primary nearest to you, and on the right going through that circular starting position. Now we begin to see the stagger between them as they go past that center line. You can kind of tell which one is leading, and it's Oceanics right now with a pretty good lead, I might add, as well. Several lengths coming to them. Oceanics, they have not won at this point. People wondered if they would be tipped to win the aquatic event, but unfortunately a disappointing finish. But that will be slightly avenged here. Oceanics now moving on. Pinkies and Rojo Rollers down the starting blocks. Rojo Rollers have done a pretty good job so far in these Marble Olympics. They won the first event all the way back at the start of this in balancing. And since then, they have sat in third in the title race overall. They had a narrow lead for the first few passes. Now they begin to fall a little bit 
behind, although they're fairly even. I would give this thus far to Pinkies, with only a few turns and laps left to go. And it will be Pinkies. Rojo Rollers eliminated, and boy, Pinkies would love that. They're sitting in 14th in the standings. Mellow Yellow versus the O'Rangers. Both of these have pretty good fan bases, I might add as well, but look at the separation already beginning in the O'Rangers as they pass through the bottom of the track in front of you right now. They are getting a little bit strung out. They're going to have to be very careful. If you get too far, I believe it's four lengths thereabouts, you risk elimination. Pretty close, this battle between the two of them. And ooh, let's see here. Video analysis due to close finish. Let's see here. Ah, it looks like the Arrangers. Yes, they have. That first marble there has about a length, and they will move on. Now Thunderbolts and Snowballs. Snowballs with a very early lead, and that immediately swings right back as they work their way down through these tracks. Snowballs, by the way, have had a pretty good finish thus far, but they really don't have the gold medals to show for it. They have just one bronze to their credit, and they sit down in 12th in the standings. And will they be eliminated here? I think they are just barely behind. If these last passes are anything to go by, we're going to have to go to video evidence, and they will not come ahead. It's Thunderbolts eliminating Snowballs. Now we move on. Cobalts and Jawbreakers. Jawbreakers nearest to you in this picture, and they're off. Jawbreakers with a very narrow lead, immediately evening back out. Cobalt's trying to make a good, solid charge here. They're sitting down in 10th in the standings, and they could use a good finish themselves, but I don't know if that is to be right now. Jawbreakers currently in 7th overall in these Marble Olympics with just one pass to go. Can they improve? They have two silvers to their credit, and they will move on. Limers and Chocolatiers. Chocolatiers got a second place finish in the 10 meter that we just had a little while ago. And we'll see if they can maintain this lead that they have right now. It seems to be a couple of lengths ahead with just a few more laps to go. It's very twisty course. All of these marbles in this race especially are keeping very tight formation. Just a slight gap between the second and the third marble. But Chocolatiers has enough to move on. Balls of Chaos and Team Momo now. Balls of Chaos had a good third place finish coming in with a bronze medal in the 10 meter dash. Otherwise, that's just about it for them. They sit down in 13th in the standings with just that bronze to their credit. And again, they would love a good finish, but that last marble is starting to get a little bit strung out for them. But look at the difference here. Look at the speed difference between these two. It's not even close. Balls of Chaos are going to come across way ahead. So we move on to the quarterfinals now. Just eight marbles remaining for their teams. The teams of four in this team pursuit. Lining up in the blocks now, it's Oceanics and Team Galactic. Galactic starting on the near track. Falling behind fairly early. They make a good turn that time by, but they're going to have their work cut out for them. Team Galactic rapidly falling behind. Now, when the team begins to catch up to you on the same side of the track, you know that your speed has really fallen off. I don't know that they're going to get lapped by the end of this, but they definitely will not be moving on to the semifinals. Oceanics easily eliminates Team Galactic. Now the O'Rangers on the near track, Pinkies on the far. The O'Rangers out to an early lead. They were getting separated in their first run. We'll see if they can work together a little bit better this time. Ooh, and they're not. That lead marble really stretching things out. Now remember, they only have about four lengths to work with before the stewards may step in and eliminate them. And the O'Rangers sitting in sixth in the standings with just one gold medal to their credit. Coming down the home stretch in these Marble Olympics, they cannot afford elimination or disqualification, but they patch it back together and eliminate and move on to the semifinals. Jawbreakers and Thunderbolts now. Thunderbolts coming off to an early lead. Just about two marbles or so, the lead that they have right now. Thunderbolts sitting in second, four points adrift of the Savage Speeders who were eliminated in the first round. So they have the potential really to gain some ground late in the Marble Olympics with a gold medal here. They have three medals to their credit, one of each color, and they will be moving on this time, knocking out the Jawbreakers. Chocolatiers and Balls of Chaos now. Chocolatiers really keeping lockstep with each other, nose to tail, and then coming out of that second revolution, they begin to string out ever so slightly. A gap between the first two marbles and the last two. 
We'll see if they can keep that together. But look at the speed that they have compared to the chasing marbles. I don't think that this will be close. Just a couple more turns to go. Chocolatiers have been eliminated. They were about a half a lap behind the Balls of Chaos. Now semifinals, Oceanics and O-Rangers. It's the O-Marbles coming in the first of the two semifinals. Oceanics near to the camera, immediately getting strung out right out of the gate, but then they group back together. You have to know how to react, especially if you're second and third marble, to try to keep in time with everybody else. And they are very quick. Look at the speed that they're gaining on them right now. The O'Rangers really need to pick up the speed, and I just don't think it's going to happen. O'Rangers on that far track now at the near side with a couple of laps to go. And they will finish well behind the Oceanics, who move on to the gold medal match. Balls of Chaos and Thunderbolts now. Both very quick right now. Balls of Chaos on the far track now the near. They seem to have a slight lead. Can Balls of Chaos keep that? I believe it is widening with each and every turn. So far, everybody has also done a good job of keeping themselves together, except the O'Rangers in that first race for them. But otherwise, look at Balls of Chaos here, already down into the final loop. One turn to go, and now out of the chute, Balls of Chaos will be moving on to the final. Now, the winner of this bronze medal match obviously wins the bronze medal, Thunderbolts and O'Rangers. One race to decide who gets on the final step of the podium. It's O'Rangers on the near side. They come out of the gate. We'll see how well they can keep together. Thunderbolts now down into the bottom. Getting out an early lead. The Rangers really need to pick up the speed. It seems like every one of their races so far, they've just lost a little bit of speed, especially down here in the bottom part of the course. Look at them being caught. Now they occupy the same stretch of track on the same side as well. And they're not going to do it. Thunderbolts gets the bronze. And valuable points to try to make up ground on the Savage Speeders. Now for the gold. Oceanics and Balls of Chaos. Oceanics on the far track. Balls of Chaos on the near. Very, very neck and neck. The Oceanics and Balls of Chaos now through two, three revolutions of the track. Balls of Chaos spreading out ever so slightly. Oceanics keeping really tight together, almost as one blur as they work their way down here toward the bottom. This is all for the gold medal. Who will pick up the points? Who will pick up the hardware? Balls of Chaos, can they do it? One turn to go for each of them. And this is going to be really close. Let's see here. And it's going to be Oceanics winning the gold medal. Balls of Chaos getting the silver. Boy, Oceanics coming from 16th place in the Marble Olympic standings, picking up 10 valuable points in front of Balls of Chaos and Thunderbolts. Everybody else getting points based on their time. And look at this now. Thunderbolts have overtaken the Savage Speeders by 1.0 points for the former leaders. And it's Thunderbolts going to stand on the top of the podium. Congratulations to everyone in this Team Pursuit final of the Marble Olympics. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more. With only a couple of events to go in these Marble Olympics, we move to Precision Slalom. Four teams starting off early on here to decide seedings in the quarterfinals. You see the color-coded grid at the bottom. This is all about how many of your marbles land closer to the center without going in that pit right in the middle, which is worth zero points. There you can see the point distributions. The closer you stay to the center, the better you are, unless you go in. Right now we're dealing with a tie break at this point. So far nobody has found that center pit, but Thunderbolts really flirting with it that time before retreating slightly. Thunderbolts, of course, just took the lead in the championship for the Marble Olympics after a bronze in the last event. Of course, they got gold back in the collision earlier in these Marble Olympics. Thunderbolts had overtaken longtime leader Savage Speeders and Rojo Rollers are giving chase. Mellow Yellow and Rangers rounding out the top five with just a couple of events to go. And this time, Snowballs, it looks like, is going to pick up the win pretty easily. A couple of marbles on that yellow four-point section. Now our top two of three teams in the championship. Ooh, Rojo Rollers and Savage Speeders are in this heat, and two marbles have found that center pit. Going to be worth zero points for them. Otherwise, a pretty wide spread off to the sides. But Pinkies have done enough to move on. Balls of Chaos, O'Rangers, Jawbreakers, and Limers in this match. A heat to get into the quarterfinals. 
The Rangers sending a couple toward the center, nearly falling into that center pit. Boy, if they can stabilize there, then the Rangers are going to pick up some good points here. Yes, they will. The Rangers coming from fifth in the championship right now, win that one handily by nine points. And they're going to be moving on to the quarterfinals. This time it's team versus team in each of these to move on toward the finals. Team Momo and Team Mellow Yellow starting off, the latter of whom is fourth in the standings. Momo are sixth. Everybody clear on the first pass of the pit. Ooh, one of the Mellow Yellows passing very close to it. We'll see if they can stabilize. And this might be fairly close in the point standings. But I think Momo is going to pick it up. Yeah, looking at that yellow and an orange. Square occupation. Now snowballs and balls of chaos. Moving in lockstep until they crash into that left side wall. Oh, and one of them is into the center pit. Not good. Balls of chaos should be able to capitalize from that. And we'll move on out of the quarterfinals as we get the official ruling once the marbles do settle. And it's Balls of Chaos capitalizing on one of the zero-point marbles from the Snowballs. Now Thunderbolts and Pinkies, the championship leaders for these Marble Olympics. Pinkies, meanwhile, are the polar opposite back in 15th. That is the penultimate position. But based on that yellow square occupation, will they actually move on? We'll see what that rightmost marble for Thunderbolts is doing. And it finally settles in. And Pinkies will do it. They knock out the championship leaders in the quarterfinals. Cobalts and O'Rangers. The Rangers found one center spot in the last one. They will do the same in the quarterfinals now. One of the O'Rangers sitting in that center pit. Otherwise, as we wait for that last marble to stabilize, Cobalts will do it. So now into the semifinals. Team Momo and Balls of Chaos will be the first ones to go away. Then Pinkies and Cobalts. All right, Momo and Balls of Chaos. Now careening their way down this slalom course toward the point grid. We'll see here, I think, ooh, as I say that, I was gonna say nobody's gonna find that center pit, but then uh, we saw that big shift back toward the middle. Meanwhile, on the bottom left, you saw the updated point standings for those who will not medal. Of course, points are still awarded based on finishing position and overall points gained here help to uh, give those points for the overall championship. Cobalts and Pinkies now. Pinkies with that frontmost marble. We'll see if anybody catches that pit immediately. Not yet. Ooh, a couple flirt with it from the Pinkies. Especially that nearmost one a couple of times leaning over the edge. And yes, look at that. Pinkies are going to be moving on based on nothing else. Just that one marble in the middle. Heck of a job. No, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, actually, we, we take a look back there. Uh, no, they will not move on. It's all about consistency and total point scoring. And based on being more toward the center on that pink strip on the left-hand side, the Pinkies are knocked out of the semifinals. A little bit surprising there, even with a marble nearly hitting the bullseye, if you will. And so for that, I will reserve judgment as we move on to this next semifinal to decide who moves on now. Balls of Chaos can't quite do it against Pinkies. 10 to 7. Now in the final, Cobalts and Team Momo. Hard hits off there. Cobalts send one in. Team Momo nearly sends one in. It bounces off the Cobalt marble and instead will send, settle in that center square. Not in the pit, but just in the nearmost. But how did all the other marbles shake out? That's the important thing. We'll finally take a look here, getting toward the final judgment from timing and scoring. And there you have it, Team Momo, 13 to 7, a solid job picking up the gold medal over Cobalts, then Pinkies, rounding out the bronze. So we take a look at the updated standings. Thunderbolts still maintain their top spot, but Momo has jumped Rojo Rollers into third place in these Marble Olympics. Then O Rangers, Mellow Yellow, and Jawbreakers a little bit farther behind. Congratulations to the winners of the Precision Slalom event. Just a couple of events to go here in the Marble Olympics. Stay tuned for more. Embroiled in the midst of controversy, we return to the diving event, this time with an updated scoring system. Mellow Yellow first in the blocks, and we'll explain how it works. They're still going to come down the ramps, bounce off the boards, and land in the pool. You see the colored grid on the bottom worth points, both for entry and where they end up. So looking here, we'll freeze it when they first enter the water. There you see, that's their starting points. 
Then we come back and see where they end as well. We'll do a freeze frame there, and this is their finishing points as well. You see a score for jump, too. That is only for the purpose of tie-breaking. Uh, it, it is worth very little in the overall standings, and rightfully so. So you see where they're going to end up here. Good bounce. A slight collision in midair, so that's going to remove a couple of points. A lot of entries on the yellow. The yellow is worth four points, but look at the back there. One on green, that's going to be worth seven. A purple over there worth five. So we start off, the, if you're on the edges or if you're on the red, that's worth only one point. As the Thunderbolts are championship leaders coming in right now. Pink is worth two, orange three, yellow four, purple five, white six, green seven, and that center blue stripe is worth a very important ten. Deductions will be taken, though, if you clip the edge of the pool, certainly if you jump out of the pool after coming in. And if two or more marbles miss the basin altogether, that team is disqualified. The Savage Speeders, our second place team coming into this event with three gold medals to their credit in the relay, the water race, and the 10 meter sprint. A slight collision, we'll take a look at the entry here. Who might have clipped the side, that top marble? And let's see where they finish on the grid. One on the green, one on the purple, not too bad. Green worth seven, purple worth five for 28 8 8. Mellow yellow, still the leaders. After that first jump, a really good jump, I might add, too. Chocolatiers coming into this one. Lower in the order, 13th, and they would love a good finish. Just one silver medal, that coming in the 10-meter sprint two events ago. That now three events, come to think of it. These Marble Olympics are just flying by. The one marble is going to be given the higher score that you see there, straddling a couple of different squares, so that will give him green for seven. Ooh, we have one of the jawbreakers go flying off to the side there. Look at this, that top marble way off, way over what used to be the judge's stand, too. Not even close, and I think they had a marble clip that front of the basin as well. Not good. That's going to be quite a few deductions for them. A pretty paltry score upcoming for the Jawbreakers. Yes, just 24.52. Now the Cobalts, a team that is in ninth in the standings out of 16 runners. Not too bad. That one marble rolling back and forth. Let's see if it finished on the yellow or the green at the back. Obviously, you want to be more towards center. On the entry point, not too bad. Yeah, they're going to settle on that yellow. Four points, but just 25 and change on that run. Not quite up to mellow yellow standards. Team Galactic coming in now. Team Galactic started the season with mixed results, getting a bronze in the Sand Rally, and that is their only medal yet. And look at that one on the green. That's going to be worth seven points alone. Another five up on the purple, 34-6-4, but Mellow Yellow still leads by over three points over Oceanics and Chocolatiers. Oceanics, one of the early jumpers, sitting down in 12th. A gold in the team pursuit. And look at this, they're going to have Marble sitting on the yellow and the white here. The white, by the way, is worth six points. Yellow worth four. A collected entry. And there you see the final freeze frame. A white and a purple, 34-7. That is not up to the 40 mark of the mellow yellow. Team now, Balls of Chaos. Eighth place in the Marble Olympics so far. A little bit of crossover on the bottom, too. Entry mostly into the yellow area. The lowermost marble entered on the orange with three points. And where will they end? All at the back. Not a good ending position at all. That just zaps any point total out. It's just 21 points overall. Remember, it's not just about entry, it's about ending. Oh, look at this. One of the O-Rangers is going to center on the blue stripe. That's going to be worth 10 points. Now, the second O-Ranger lands on the upper right corner and will settle there. So that's not going to be worth many points at all. One for the entry and one for the ending. But look at that. A yellow, two yellows, and a blue. That's going to put them 36.68 good solid run from the O-Rangers. Now Pinky's jumping in. Might have caught the front end of the basin. We'll have to check on replay. A little slight collision in midair. That's going to deduct just a little bit. No, I don't believe they actually hit the front. But they did enter on white. And the entry on white, that's pretty good. That's worth six points apiece. 32.59, so they break into the 30s. But you have to be in the upper part of the 30s. I would say well over 35 
if you want to challenge for the medal here. Rojo Rollers, a team that's challenged for many medals so far. Gold in balancing, silver in the sand rally, gold in the high jump. They get a couple of marbles coming in yellow, I think one in purple. Where will they end up? One of them rolls back onto yellow, and another onto purple, so yellow worth four, purple worth five. Team primary. A growing group of fans this team has gotten as they've charged through the Marble Olympics. Haven't had a lot of success though. A bronze in collision and a silver in high jump. Scoreless in their last three events. And they would love to settle a little bit higher up the order here. 28.69 is not going to be last, I will say that much. But it will not challenge for a medal. Just two runners to go now. The Limers jumping in and this is going to be a good score. I think they've got one on the purple, one on the yellow, and two on the green. The two on the green are going to net them 14 points overall just for those two marbles. And it was a decent entry as well. Look at this. Where are they going to finish? 36-8-1. That puts them in the upper half of the order. Still not a gold medal. The last team to try to unseat Mellow Yellow, Snowballs. They come in. Ooh, flirting with that blue stripe. It'll settle on seven for green, but I don't think that's going to be enough. A bit of collision midair on the bottom two. They enter onto the orange, which is only worth three points. But where do they end up? As they roll their way back, I think they're going to have one on the yellow, one on the green, actually, and one on the purple. 31.77 is not going to be enough. So Mellow Yellow are the gold medal winners in the diving revised competition. Oceanics and Limers rounding up the podium with silver and bronze picking up a good points haul. Look at this. A three-way tie for second place in the Marble Olympics, just two behind championship leader Thunderbolts and four ahead of the third place tires, Rojo Rollers and Rangers, coming into the final event of the Marble Olympics. It's all to play for. Still much more to come. And it all comes down to this. There you see the standings coming into the final event of these Marble Olympics Thunderbolts with a narrow lead and with such a long jam up at the front. Every single race in this hurdle event is going to be very important. We look at the hurdles coming out of the blocks at the start there, and it's Savage Speeders coming in the third lane, notching the first heat victory of this final event. You see the little blocks that they're going to traverse over. You can bump those, just like in, uh, in actual hurdling. You can hit those. But as long as the marble does not come out of the track, everything is fine. So Savage Speeders with speed, 5.20. Now Jawbreakers, Chocolatiers, Oceanics, and Thunderbolts. Chocolatiers leading the way now. Thunderbolt with a huge push after those first couple of hurdles. Stream down and pick up the victory. I'd actually like to see a couple of hurdles before this view because they just kicked into another gear, doing what they need to. Still a little bit slower than what we saw Speed do, but uh, Bolto doing a good job with 5-2-9 for a team that is looking to clinch the Marble Olympics. Roll Rollers, Pinkies, Snowballs, and Team Moo. Snowballs, and Momo is going to take the victory away right at the end, a couple of hurdles to go. Look at how close these two were. A little bit haggard over that final hurdle. Oh, and look, he came out of the blocks and ended up in the far lane. So Pinkies is disqualified. Well, we knew it might happen. Mellow Yellow, Balls of Chaos, Cobalts, and Limers. And it's Mellow Yellow out in front, but now it's a dead heat between the two of them. Mellow Yellow, I think, is going to come away with the victory, but not by much. Look at how much bouncing around there was. Managed to stay in the lane, ooh, barely, by three thousandths of a second in front of Sublime from the Limers. That is also our quickest run so far. So there you see the current standings as they have been updated so far uh, with the current standings in this particular event. In the consolation race, Oceanics, Limers, Rangers, and Snowballs. Oceanics with a narrow lead, now Snowball's coming back. Limer's in second lane, and I think Limer's is going to get it. Back and forth between the two of them, and it really was that final hurdle that made a difference. Limer's coming across just seven thousandths of a second ahead of Snowy from the Snowballs to get fifth. So there you see it. Appropriately enough, our top four are moving on to the final. Just two points separating first from a three-way tie for second. Momo, Thunderbolts, Mellow Yellow, and Savage Speeders. Here we go. Thunderbolts trying to make up a little ground, but it's not going to happen. Thunderbolts is not going to capture the gold on this one. Look at this at the very end. Oh, actually, it's going to be very close finish. I say that, and it's a photo at the end.
the end. What is timing and scoring going to give us? This has a direct implication in the final of the Marble Olympics. This was much closer than I thought. It's going to be speed from the Savage Speeders. I would guess that's much less than a thousandth of a second in front of Yelp from the Yellow Mellow Yellows. What a job it was. Thank you. 